My name's Brad Fanning. I live in Rocky Mount, Virginia. Been an avid motocross rider all my life. Ended up having a bad accident uh, on the track and had a spinal cord injury. The jump distance from jump to landing was probably about 80 feet. And I was running upwards probably 60 miles an hour. And I knew as soon as I hit the jump face, I was gonna crash because my bike come off the jump like this. I was at the motocross track with him um, and everything got real quiet and I kind of knew, had a gut feeling something was wrong and I went racing down into the woods and found him laying there, unable to move. They flew me on Lifeguard 10, got me there fast. My accident was at 4.30 in the day and by 6.30, 7 o'clock, I was being operated on. And, uh, you know, my surgeon told me that I was one in a million because I'd had no spinal cord uh, damage. It was just really bruised bad, took a good beating. It could have left me in a lot worse shape than I'm in now, and I just thank the Lord. While I was in the hospital, my wife actually took a week of vacation so she could stay with me for the whole entire first week, or, you know, after my surgery. And it, was, it meant everything in the world because I was scared. You know, I didn't know if I was ever gonna walk again. You know, am I gonna be paralyzed? Am I gonna be able to play with my son? He was going to daycare still at the time and he'd go and he'd tell all his teachers and classmates, daddy's got a boo-boo on his back. You know, daddy's staying at the doctor's office, but he's big and strong. He'll get home soon. <laughs> I think my total stay in Run at Memorial was about 15 days. My nurses in Run at Memorial, everybody was great. You know, I, I made some friends in there and everybody took good care of me, uh, but it was time for me to get moving. So they took me to the inpatient rehab. I spent upwards of 20 days in there. And uh, when I got there, I, I couldn't even wiggle my toes. You know, it was basically, you know, nothing was moving. And within five or six days, they had me on my feet walking. It was pretty strenuous. Uh, they run a tight ship there, but uh, that's what it takes. You know, just uh, very fortunate that I had a lot of people there that really took care of me. And everybody there was, was really there for me. You know, everybody was there to, to guide me and coach me and, and help me do this and help me do that. It, it seemed like everybody was there to get me better. Time flies when you're having fun. The one person that was the most happy for me to be home was my son. I mean, when I come home, he was just, he was elated. It was great. I mean, it was the best for me. I love you. Say, I love you too, Dad. I love you too, Dad. Oh, he was very excited, arms wide open. Daddy's home, Daddy's home. Very excited. He's been riding around on the wheelchair with Daddy and being there with him every step of the way. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Right now, I'm doing outpatient rehab across the street from Franklin Memorial Hospital at the Korean Rehab Center there and slowly but surely I'm getting stuff back. If I had his energy, I'd be healed in like a week. It's kind of a new adventure every week. You know, I get something new back and I gotta work it. You know, I have to be really careful. Falling is a very big risk for me right now. Can't take any nasty blows to the back again. <laughs> a lot of people ask me if I'm gonna get back on a bike. Yeah, sure I will. You know, you know, I'm gonna ride with my wife. My wife rides with me. Um, my son's getting ready to be three. Probably next year, he's gonna be on a little bike with training wheels, you know, and we're just gonna go ride as a family. Just enjoy being outside and being together as a family. You know, that's what we do. I'm just being really careful. And it slowed me down and really made me pay attention at what I was doing. Because my whole life, you know, I'm a young guy. I race motocross, you know, it's uh, drive fast cars, ride dirt bikes, you know, and, and now it's kind of like I'm married, I have a son, I have a mortgage, I have a good job, thankfully, that's going to let me come back to work, you know, after my, my rehabilitation's done, so just uh, I can't thank the man enough, you know. <laughs>